Hi and welcome to another tech video from Frimley Computing. So today we're going to be looking at an Acer. It's an all-in-one 27-inch machine that is suffering from disk problems. So um, we've run some in initial diagnostics on the machine such as antivirus check um, and uh, making sure that all of the updates are installed and cleaned the machine in terms of temporary files and the usual kind of thing that you would run through making sure a machine is in good health. Um, there are issues with applications opening so rather than doing a factory reset on the, uh, the drive that's been in there since um, the machine was installed. Uh, we are going to be changing out the hard disk for um, an SSD drive. So it's a one terabyte disk at the moment and that is going to be changed to a 480 gig SSD drive um, and that will improve the performance, give it a few more years of extra life and we're going to do a fresh install of Windows 10 on it. Um, once that's done, it'll be cleaned. Uh, we give everything a COVID clean nowadays before being returned to the customer. And we obviously take all the necessary precautions. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, the first thing we've got is we've got to remove the stand in the center, remove those screws. And at the bottom here, there's two screws here, which will unlock the, uh, the back of the unit. And hopefully the back of the unit should lift straight off. So without further ado let's get started so we're going to remove these screws on the stand and put these to one side Looks like this has been open before because the clips aren't clipped in. Okay, so that's those. And then that just removes straight from the back. These clips are supposed to be in the holes there, but they weren't. So that would suggest that this has been removed before. And then the next thing that we want to do is we've got two screws under here, which come all the way out. Actually got three screws, sorry. There's a smaller one in the middle. We're going to remove that. And then another screw on the edge here. Like so. Actually, just slide straight back. That was easy. So rather than prising it all the way off, that just whole unit slides back and lifts up. Oh wow, there is absolutely nothing in this. Okay, so we've got the hard disk here and we've got one retainer screw on the side there. So we are going to disconnect the SATA cable and we're going to take out the one retaining screw from the cage. This is probably a terabyte drive and that just slides straight out. What we got here? Barracuda 7200 one terabyte. Okay, so that's all there is to that part. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have a look. We're going to get this connected on our um, device and we are going to extract all the data, create a backup, and then we are going to copy all of the data to somewhere safe. And then we're going to put a cage in here with a new um, SSD drive depending on the size of how much data is on here will determine the size that we put in but normally um, we tend to stick in a 500 gig uh, SSD drive so that's all there is to that part uh, come back and join us for the next bit okay so here's the cage with the new drive installed this is a um, 500 gig or 480 gig 
uh, SSD from PNY. Um, here's the old one terabyte drive. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install this into the system. Which should be relatively straightforward to do. So that the way that the SSD drive mounts in here, um, you can see the connectors come out through the end and you've just got the four screws underneath, which makes it um, nice and easy. The fact that you don't need an additional drive cage and all we're gonna do now is we're going to insert that, plug in the connector like that. And then we're gonna take our holding screw which was this one here. Use magnetic screwdriver just to pop that on there. Like that. And then we take the back. Which slides back on. So it just clips in, slides forward, and then we've got the three screws under the bottom here. Quite impressed with this, the fact that uh, it's so easily upgradable, and the fact that you can get, actually get in this without any problems at all. That's one of the beauties of having an older system. And then the stand goes back on, and the only, th the only thing that we've got to do, which wasn't done before, is get those two clips in, like that, which then hold the cover down. And then we've got the four screws. So what we've done is we've backed up the data. So we connected the hard disk to another system using a USB SATA adapter. And then we've copied the user data because this is going to have a fresh install of Windows 10 because the old disk uh, was throwing all sorts of strange behavior and wobblies so um, we've said that we'll do a fresh install and copy the data back they don't have a lot of additional software on there so that's all there is to it so that is the pc now done um, so the next thing is we'll get this connected and we will finish off the build So that's all there is to it. So we've loaded a fresh copy of Windows 10 and that is now cleaned and ready to deliver back to our clients. If you found that video useful, 
give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and just like to say thanks for watching, stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.